So my last post on Instagram, the AI post, Chris asked whether he could get these images. He would love to get some of these images as posters. I said, sure, well, I can send them over to you, but let me try and scale them up because with Midjourney, the default size, I think, is about 1,000 pixels or 1024, and the upscaled version is about 1,600, which doesn't always work. And we're going to see this in a bit. Now, to print perfectly on A3 and to have a really sharp image, by the way, I'm looking at this on the internet as we speak, you'll need about 3,508 into 4960 pixels to get a sharp image which you can then print on a, something like this is an A3 plus semi-gloss photo paper. And we're going to use the ProGraph 300, which is one of the great printers out there. Now, the first method that we're going to use is Photoshop. I'm going to show you how you can scale an image with Photoshop, actually camera raw within Photoshop, but it's not a straightforward process. You will need to enable one of the features in order for you to do that. And second way that we can enlarge images using third-party tool like Topaz Gigapixel AI. Now I have had this software for a while. They're not paying me to promote it, but I think it's a very useful software. You also have Sharpen AI and Denoise AI that you want, if you want to have a look at. And this is the print sample that we have on an A3 Plus. This is how it's going to look like. This is going to be a very interesting process. So let's go. And the photographer of the week is Ray Pictures Art. Ray was one of the earliest followers to my account. And as you can tell, these photos are mind blowing. If you're not following Ray, please go ahead and do that right now. He is one of the nicest guys I've met besides me. I love his photos. I love his style. I love his breakdowns that he does share actually on his feed and sometimes in story, just like this one, for example, a breakdown of the toy car photo shoot that he had. So if you're not following Ray, I'll keep, I keep calling him Ray because that's what it says, but his name is actually Rodrigo. Um, if you're not following him, I'll leave a link to his Instagram at the description below. Make sure to check it out. All right, so by default, if you want to enhance a JPEG in Photoshop or in Camera Raw, which if actually, let's give it a try, you go to Filters and then Camera Raw Filters. And when you click, right click, it doesn't work because it, for some reason, it only works upon opening the file in Photoshop but it has to open first in camera raw. You need to treat JPEGs as raw when you first open them. And the way to do so, <laughs> there's a guide over here. So to open JPEGs or TIFFs, select edit preference camera raw and then file handling and then automatically open all supported JPEGs or TIFFs. So what we can do is go to edit preference camera raw. So we go to preference, let's find camera raw and it should be somewhere here. There you go and file handling. And from here we can select automatically open all supported JPEGs. Click OK and that's it. Now let's close this. Now we have another problem. The files that we downloaded are in PNGs and you need to convert them to JPEGs and then reopen them in Photoshop. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, export this into JPEG. I'm going to save it in the same folder. Okay, so we go back to the folder and now right click, open Photoshop. There you go. Now it opens up in Camera Raw. So if I right click this and click on Enhance, then it's going to try and give you a super resolution. So let's just do that and it will open this one up. So notice now this one is fit at 105% and now this one is 52% in fit. I'm going to say open and now let's see the image resolution, image size, that's 2048. That's still not enough maybe for an A3 print or A3 plus 
but that's okay. All right, let's see what we can do with Topaz AI. The other part is I tried the detailed upscale and the uh, beta upscale re redo, and uh, they are really bad, as you can tell from the images. Um, look at this, it's not usable. So the way I'm going to use Gigapixel AI is I'm going to export an enhanced version of this here, the one that we did already in Photoshop, and I'm going to import it into Gigapixel right now. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, so I'm going to right click on the enhanced version, the one we, we had in Photoshop, open with Topaz Gigapixel AI. All right, now that it loaded in Gigapixel AI, you can see a lot of things on the right, but also you have uh, the before and after. So this is the before, this is the after and you can see it became a sharper image. You can now see that the software determined that this is actually a CGI art. I went up for the 6X, I didn't go to the max. I think 6X is just more than enough because you can see from a 2048, the enhanced version of Photoshop, to a 12,288 pixels. And that is definitely more than enough i mean it's bringing out a lot of details and that's it you click apply and it's going to apply it to your image all right that's it from me and continue with the printing okay so i do all of my prints from lightroom because i have a plugin ready for the canon printer um let's go ahead and go to file and then plugin extras canon professional print and layout yeah let's wait for the dialogue Ex and that great make sure that the paper size is everything is okay that's fine then click print all right that's all right let's go hey look grandpa is printing i'm going getting low on the yellows it's coming out now for an a3 print that is amazing Look at that thing. That's more than enough resolution for an A4 and A3. Uh, I think I think it's just it, great. This is all what you need. Anyway, I'll leave a, a link to um, you know to this upscaled photo in the description below. You might want to use it as a wallpaper, or you might want to print it out. This and one other uh, that I'm going to upscale. Let me know if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.